Hi, this is James from tracyandmat.co.uk and from unboxings.com and I'm here with the uh, the Brodit um, car holder for the ATC Incredible S which we're going to uh, unbox, well it's not unbox, we're going to unbag it actually in a minute um, but what I will explain quickly first off is if you haven't seen the, the Brodit range before um, essentially it comes in two parts, you actually you have the actual uh, the phone holder here but you also need a, another part which fixes to the car so the way that that works, if we jump over to the uh, DSL Developments website, essentially what you do is you choose the phone that you've got. So we'll uh, um, we'll just pick any old one here. We'll uh, what should we go for? Let's find a nice phone make. Um, mm -hmm, um, we'll go for a Motorola, and then we choose the. Uh, the phone that we've got, so we'll go for a um, we'll go for a Defy, like so. So there you have part one, which is the actual phone holder. Now we have to choose what vehicle we've got. So again, we select a vehicle. Let's pretend I've got a BMW, and we'll go for one of those, and then select a year, 1999. Okay, and then. It gives you the options available. So this obviously goes on the uh, the uh, the offside vent. But there's also one that goes next to the gear stick. And that's going to be another option. I don't know why that photo is not loading yet. So you can choose whereabouts in the car that you actually have it mounted. So uh, we'll put a link to a DSL in the post anyway. But what we'll do, we'll. Uh, We'll unbag this and uh, have a quick look, and then we'll uh, I'll get this installed in the car. And we'll see it in action. So right, we have some screws. We have the, uh, the device itself, and we have some instructions, which is uh, fairly straightforward. Essentially, the uh, this front part screws into the part that's uh, that's already in the car. Now, I'm lucky enough to have the, uh, the the second part in my car. I've actually got two of these. I, I use one of these for my BlackBerry Bold, and I also use one of these for my iPhone 4. So, what I'm going to do is take the iPhone 4 um, actual phone holder off and replace it with the, uh, the the one for the Incredible S. So, let's see what we get here. Obviously, this uh, comes with a mains charger so you can charge the phone on the go. I think you have the option to have it with or without the charger. Um, the DSL have kindly sent me one with. There's an elastic band here which I'm struggling with. Elastic bands can be complicated. I think we'll have to maybe get some scissors. Oh no, we're getting there. Right, so I've also got some uh, another leaflet here. Again, shows you some examples. Like so, that's just uh, showing a few different ones in the range. So, that obviously goes in the uh, the, the cigarette lighter. And there's the, uh, the charging port there by my left finger. So, this part affixes to the uh, mount that's already in the car using the, the four screws and then what we do is we get the phone and also we have to we have to line that up with the charging port so I presume that just slides in there like so ah and there we are it's in nice and uh, because it's uh, it's on a swivel um, you can actually rotate the uh, the device as well, so if you're using it in landscape mode, if you're setting up what have you, uh, you can do. But from experience, these are probably the most robust and uh, professional uh, in-car solution you, you can get. And with uh, uh, with DSL offerings, uh, so many uh, different variations for different smartphones, it's uh, it's a nice option. So I'm going to go and put this in the car, and uh, then I shall uh, I'll sh I shall show you it in action. Right, so here I am in the car. Uh, I've installed the uh, uh, the Brodit 
Pro Clip, which uh, took all of about 60 seconds for me to do the switch between the iPhone 1 and this one. Um, so as you can see, it's charged, charging, um, totally secure. You can, as I say, rotate it if you want to use it in landscape mode, although I tend to always uh, leave it in portrait myself. Uh, you've also got access to the power key there on the top, so uh, it's nice and easy to switch that on, get the screen on. Um, what more can I say? It's a fantastic piece of kit. And as I mentioned earlier, I also have a, a second one. I actually have one there, which uh, is my BlackBerry Bold that, that sits up there. Um, this one isn't complete with the charger, although as, a, as an option, you can get it with the charger. So uh, there you go. Good stuff, eh? Thanks for watching.